Okay, so for this setup guys, I'm going to show you how to import your PlayStation 3 games into Launchbox. But before I start this setup guys, just make sure to hit the notifications for me. So let's get into this. So firstly, you're obviously going to want Launchbox. Uh, Launchbox being a front end system. And you're also going to need a separate install of RPCS3, which is the PS3 emulator. Now, some of you out there might have already done this and you might import your PS3 games and you will find it's just relentlessly adding lots of files from your PlayStation 3 disc. So what we need to do is start from scratch on this. So I'm going to be going over firstly to download firmware for our RPS free emulator. And to do this, I'll leave the link in my description. We're going to update the PS3 console system software by using a computer. And if I download the PS3 update here, and if you're using Edge, then it can be downloaded securely. It's a very safe website, obviously. So keep this and keep anyway and we're going to get a ps3 up that so once that's downloaded we're then going to head over to the rps3 website and download the emulator itself and again links in my description and for this i'm obviously using windows i'm going to download rpcs3 so once we got both of those files your rpcs3 emulator will likely download in a zip file so what i'm going to do for this to extract it is just create a new folder so right click on desktop new folder and i'm going to just call this rpcs3 so i'm going to drag in this zip file inside of this folder and just right click on it and it extracts it with my winrar extraction tool so extracts here and there we go so we no longer need this zip file we can just simply delete this one now so let's actually open up the RPCS3 emulator. And you'll just get a disclaimer. I have read the quick start guides. Do not show again. Just check both of these and press continue. So first thing you're going to want to do to get this up and running. So if we go to file and install firmware, I'm going to locate that PS3 updat.pup, which is our firmware. So I'm going to double left click on this one. And that's going to install the latest 4.90 firmware. And just check, don't show again. So it will likely just come up with compiling PPU modules. Just let it do a thing. It might take you a little while for this process to take. Just bear with it. Okay, so once your PPU has finished compiling, what we're going to do is just go to pads. And make sure you've got a controller plugged in. I've got the awesome PlayStation 3 controller for this. So once we're under gamepad settings, I'm going to go to handlers and for this, I'm going to go to X input and that's going to recognize my PlayStation 3 controller. So from here, it's just a case of pressing on each one of these buttons and combining it with your controller. So for example, it says D-pad up. I'm going to press on that and press up on my D-pad. Left on my D-pad is left. Right on my D-pad is right, down and so on. So it's just a process to go through each one of these buttons just here and using your controller to configure it how you want it. And just be sure to save this too. So if we just go to add profile and I'm going to call this PS3 and OK this and just save at the bottom so we don't have to do that every time. So I'm going to just head over to file and I'm going to add my game. So just add game and it's on my desktop as we can see little big planet. I'm going to left click on this once to highlight it and select folder. And there we go. We now have little big planet all set up. And so that's about it. So we got our PlayStation 3 controller set up as well as the game. So you might want to mess around with the video settings, but that's going to differ for you on whatever hardware it is you're using. So I'm going to close this down for now and I'm going to now open up Launchbox. And this is the latest 13.5 as of this recording. So I'm going to just close this down and I'm going to head over to tools, import, ROM files. And this is going to open up the wizard. So press next on here and it now asks to select the files to import. And of course, this is the games or the game we want to import. So in this case, I want to import into Launchbox my little big planet game. So if we just go into add files, and my game is located on my desktop. And here's my little big planet folder. 
So I'm going to go into the PS3 underscore game folder. And I'm going to go into this directory just there, this folder, USR DAR. And I'm going to select the last file just there, which is called eboot.bin. And this is what the RPCS3 emulator boots from. This is the actual game file itself. So if I double left click on this one and I press next. Now, what platform are you importing games for? So it's obviously Sony PlayStation 3. So you can either type this in like I'm doing or just pull down the box as so and we have it there so from here i'm going to press next and finally we've got to choose an emulator so i'm going to want to add my rpcs3 emulator that i've just set up so i'm going to go to add and the emulator name is obviously rpcs3 and we need to go to the application path and we go to browse and what we're going to do is look for the .exe of the emulator itself. So it's obviously gonna be on my desktop, RPCS3. And if we just drag this down, our RPCS3.exe is located right at the box. So double left click on this one. And that's it. So we're next gonna to go to OK and next. And use the files in their current location is the option I'm gonna use. It's just gonna keep my game on the desktop. Next. Now you can Add whatever artwork you want for this, but as always, I'm going to check none and just put the very basics in there for this setup guide. So, uh, box 3D, box front, and yeah, they'll do. So, next, and configure emu movies. I'm sure some of you could be aware of what this is. This will get you preview videos, that type of thing, but you need to set up emu movies through the website in login with your uh, website login details. So, next. And from here, I'm going to press next again. And finally, I'm going to just press finish. And this is now importing our eBoot game. And as we can see, it's recognized our game, Little Big Planet. So that's all good to go. Now, if you don't see any artwork on here for whatever reason, what you need to do is go to image group and that's going to give you all your artwork that you just downloaded. And what I've done here, I've put this into the list category. So if I go to view to change this and go to images view, I can now see my little big planet game. And if I go to image group and 3D boxes, we now have my game showing. So you're also gonna notice a new tab on the side here, which is uh, Sony PlayStation 3. Now let's actually try and launch this game. So double left click on it. And there we go. So just bear in mind that PlayStation 3 is a very demanding emulator in itself. That's the RPCS3 emulator. So not every computer is going to support it as well as other computers. I'm running an Intel i7 11th gen processor with 16 gigabyte RAM and a really good RTX card. So most games I import from my discs are very good for emulating this. If you've got anything very old, forget it. It's not going to work and you'll find yourself in a constant loop of going through video settings and trying to configure things. But at the end of the day, if you've got an older processor or an older GPU, it will not work. So that's it. So just let it do its thing and it compiles the PPU modules just like it did when we set up RPCS3 to start with. So that's it. I've got you up and running using Launchbox and the RPCS3 emulator. I've showed you everything just there, even setting your controller up. So just make sure to follow me on different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Also be sure to check out my other launchbox. Also be sure to check out my other launchbox guides which are under my launchbox playlist. I also do a combination of different front end emulation tutorials too including retro bat and retro arch. So check those out. But until next time, you stay retro.